the chromatic scale. Now we're going to add several new notes so that you can play the full range of the clarinet. The first thing we need to learn is what is flat and what is sharp. A flat sign lowers a note name one half step. A sharp sign raises a note name one half step. In the chromatic scale, you're going to have many flats and many sharps. In fact, some of the notes will have different names but will sound exactly the same and be fingered exactly the same. Let's take a look at the first new note, C sharp, D flat. It's very close to the C fingering, adding the pinky on this key, C sharp and D flat. So going up, it's C sharp. Going down, it's D flat. Same sound, same fingering, different note name, in harmonic. The next new note in the sequence is D sharp or E flat. Very close to the fingering for D. Add the bottom trill key with the knuckle portion of your index finger. D sharp, E flat. The next note in the series is F sharp or G flat. F sharp is played very similarly to F natural. F sharp has two fingerings. The regular F sharp is fingered this way with no thumb. On the chromatic scale, we're going to use the alternate F sharp, which is very close to F natural. Thumb and the bottom two trill keys pressed at the same time produce alternate F sharp. The reason you learned two fingerings is because on the chromatic scale, you're going to use the alternate F sharp instead of the regular F sharp to facilitate a good, smooth scale. Do you remember pinky finger gymnastics? If you haven't looked at that video in cycle one, please do so before going forward. We're now going to use those lever keys that we played in pinky finger gymnastics, G sharp and A flat is like low G with the top lever key. This is G sharp and A flat. F sharp, G flat is on the left side for the chromatic scale. You'll notice that while I'm moving my fingers, another key is also moving. That's because you can play it on the left or on the right. For the chromatic scale, it's best played on the left. And then the last note, will be low E, one fingering with both pinkies down. That's the one we're going to use on the chromatic scale. However, you need to know that low E can be played with one pinky here or one pinky there. For the chromatic scale, use both pinkies for fingering E's. It's best on the chromatic scale that you play E this way because you're going to be passing through F and you don't want to add any extra finger motion.